look what I've just found under the rhododendron tree just by me. I haven't picked it, don't worry. It was tumbled by slugs who love them, even though they're poisonous to us. We're on to November and I've called this fairy tale fungi. Who lives in a house like this? I don't expect Lloyd Grossman, who showed us how the rich and famous live, would be interested. But I have found these pink topped little structures under our rhododendron bush. They're called fly agaric and are so welcome a bright colour on our no sun November day which has no creatures and no flowers for me to write about. My childhood picture books show golden-haired fairies peeping out of little pink top toadstool cottages waiting to make your wishes come true. So I think I can safely say that magical fairies live in a house like this. You remember Alice in Wonderland found a mushroom with a caterpillar sitting on the top smoking a hookah. She was worried about her size, she was too small, and she was told by the caterpillar to eat some of the mushroom. One side will make you grow taller and the other side will make you grow shorter. I could do with being a bit taller, but he didn't say which side of the mushroom to eat to make you taller. When I was a child, we were never short of fungi. They were everywhere. Those you could play with and those you could eat. We knew the difference then in those days. We had a wisdom which those of you who grew up in the countryside, when I did, will also have. What I didn't know is that technically there's no difference between a toadstool and a mushroom. I always thought that you could eat mushrooms but not toadstools which were poisonous. Well apparently not, they're all from the same family. Every morning in autumn when I was a little girl we ran out into our pasture to pick mushrooms. They were very big white on top with light brown gills underneath. If the gills were chocolate brown they were ripe and producing spores and it was too late to eat them. But we only needed one or two for breakfast for the whole family. They fried up to a delicious brown mass and they oozed a gravy which was perfect with our hen's eggs. We knew that puffballs we found were for playing with. It was obvious really, they were khaki brown and were the size and shape of a football. If we came across one in the long grass, we kicked it ragged and we could see the spores dusting out all over, making sure we could have more fun next year. When I came to Shropshire, we cycled down our lane and leading, leaning our bikes against an oak tree, still clinging to crinkled leaves, we filled our pockets with little white mushrooms, freshly nosed through the grass. We go to a supermarket now. You may think that fungi do not feature as much in our lives, but the Shropshire Fungus Group will tell you that there are 15,000 types in the UK, all living on decaying organic material. And if you are interested, you can join a group and go on a fungal foray. Fungi are still everywhere, but fairies to grant your wishes may be harder to find. I expect you know that fungi cause athlete's foot. Also the truffles for the rich and famous at the London Savoy Grill are also fungi. Take your pick, then make a wish. <laughs>